Hello everybody, I'm your host Reanimos and welcome back to the Dream Theory Part 2. As best you remember, um, I was kind of stuck in that uh, gymnasium setting. Um, so we're going to go back to that and see if I can't get past that. Um, there's a couple times where the guy was right in front of my face and I couldn't do too much about it. I, I don't know if you've heard it yet. She took him, I mean, listen. Well, my son didn't come home. Okay. And police don't know where he could be. I don't know where he's starting from. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be back in the gym. In school. I, I, I don't worry. Listen, if he if he's dead, I don't know what, what I will do. With this other kid, what was his name? Yeah. Am I starting over again? Cause that would that would seriously sting. Uh, I don't want to start over I again. Hope that the same thing will happen with my son. I don't want to start over again. What if you won't be found? Like the, the other kid I'm starting over again. I'm this is horseshit. I'm scared as hell. Well, damn. Oh, oh, never mind. Okay, it's just the same intro. Part two. Okay. So we're good. Arrow keys and... Yep. Okay, good. No space bar. I remember this. They're so starting right back to where we were. Trying to... Oh, nope. Ah, really? Ah, oh, right off the goddamn bat. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. All right, let's try that again. Um, also, later on tonight, if you see me on with the shade, same shirt, I'll be live streaming with Aries Den 84 later. Um, so hopefully you guys look forward to that. Um, so, yeah, if you see me on with the same shirt later on on live stream, then you know I recorded this in the same day. I'll probably have the camera with the same... Uh, set up the way I have it now. Yeah. So, there's that. So hopefully... Jesus. I don't want to Come on! Really? How long is long enough? Jesus. Right off the goddamn bat. Hopefully I don't stick as, or suck at this as bad as I usually do. Because I was getting a point where it's really close. And these guys are not very helpful in me. Like, like it's hard to know when to put it back down. But they won't get you. Like, do I keep it in the same spot? Do I move it around? I don't know. <coughs> Um, there's that. I mean, trying to get these guys to not kill you, I guess, or scare you or whatever. But it's pretty ideal. And if you remember the last episode, he had a theory of what's going on. And it has to do something with the over voice of the girl that's telling you this. Right on cue. Um, Tell me not to be afraid. Good job. Jesus. I mean, I really don't have to move around too much because these guys are pretty easy to see. Are you so. afraid? No. Come on. I'm trying to get through this, lady. Please help. Tell your buddies to go away. Come on. I'm, I'm actually winning around to about 3-4 seconds because that's what I think would, would be a good amount of time for him to realize that there's really nothing there. So hopefully there's that. So... I want to make sure that I can get past this. We're under a minute. And that these guys... Oh, shit. That was pretty close. I'm going to give him an extra second. So hopefully we can get through this. Nothing happened. Sorry if I'm touching my face a little too much. Do not ever worry. No harm I don't want to die. I'm very scared. Hopefully nothing bad happens. I want to get past this without any more incidents. I mean, fuck. 
We're almost there. 20 seconds left. Jesus, he's right in the face again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we're done. I don't know what's that whole hand above your face. Henry, please don't do this. Let me out of here. Henry. This is so Johnson, you'll stay here. You hear me? I realize you, Jonathan, just to yeah, just kill yourself. So apparently this is all Jonathan coming back to exact revenge on what happened to him and his sister helping him. And I know about the whole uprising about the KYS, KYS text going out to kids. Please do not do that. I personally have dealt with depression and anxiety. That is not a good thing to do. You might think it's something silly or something just completely funny. I don't know the words for it. It is not. It is very hurtful. Do not do that. People with depression struggle with life every day. Let's go back to the game. So right now, I have to find an object. And this whole map this is going to be tough because I know those guys are out there waiting for me. So let's see if we can't get this. I know there's probably one more thing I have to go through before this is over. Hopefully we can find the last piece before anything bad happens. I really don't want to deal with these guys ever again. That's too goddamn easy. Really? Too, that was too easy. It looks like it was a letter, so I'll probably read it to you guys. That was really, I'm surprised on how easy that actually was. <laughs> Sometimes you get lucky. Don't tell me I have to go up to the school. Alright, good. So at his house again. I remember last time it was E to examine. Tragedy in school. A tragic event struck a local school named St. Alliston School. A student named Jonathan Collins was found dead at 7 a.m. in one of the rooms of the school. He committed suicide by hanging himself. Later, a student confessed that he locked the boy into the room, but he added, "I just, I was just joking. I never meant him. I never meant to hurt him. I promise." His name is Henry Clayton. Police didn't do anything with the with Clayton, as he's only a student. It is not confirmed yet if the school will have to close. Interesting. It seems like there is a circle or a repetitive process going in with this. And if you saw it during the little transmission going on between the last um, awakening part that we did, was Jonathan being told by Henry to kill yourself. That is the power in that message. People take that to heart. Personal for me. You will die. Seems like to see we're in a locker room. I'm gonna try to give these guys an extra second each time I see them, just to be safe. trying to find these oh damn right in the face jesus so yeah needless to say i'm probably gonna have a little bit of a um what is it that the um guy that did the um 
the talk shows. Um, Springer, kind of like a uh, Springer's final thoughts at the end of this video. So please watch it. I'm trying to think of it right now of what I'm going to say as I play this. So if I'm kind of quiet right now, that's kind of why. I'm trying not to be too quiet. I want to make sure I get this. I'm also trying to focus on what I'm trying to do here and make sure that these guys don't get me. I'm riding on that extra time just to be safe so I can get through this in one shot. I'm pretty sure I can probably get through this with the camera held up. I'm going to try to not to do that as I did in the last video. Trying to keep it as honest as I can for you guys. Wow, he was kind of close. Two, three. Alright. So far so good. Where? Oh, there he is. We're under a minute again, which is good. I don't know if there's another piece to this. I'm kind of hoping this is the final one. There's got to be one more, because we started with this. seconds 20 seconds not bad we're doing pretty good 15 seconds left 14 12 right in the face Jesus 8 seconds 7 seconds 5 4 3 2 one. I right, we did it without incident. It's actually pretty Hello. good, guys. I I am recording this message for you. Oh, geez. Please, please show this to the world when I am I'm gone. He's dead. She took him. My 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 son is is dead, and now I I have a plan. A plan I will will not regret, and I I will do something that that everyone will remember. Something something historical. Yesterday, Saint Allison's School was buried burned to the ground. The cause of the fire is yet unknown, but few people were inside the building during the fire. Henry Clayton, who was the headmaster, and Jamie Jasmine Collins. The fire started at 8 p.m. and ended at 10.20 p.m. Police are still investigating. So he burnt his school down, unwilling that Jasmine Collins... This is... I don't know if that name has came up before. I really don't remember it. The Dream Theory. The spark is the beginning... <laughs> beginning. I think he might just spell beginning. Progression, outcome. Let's go with the spark. What is this? The spark. In 2001, a boy named Jonathan Collins was bullied by three other students, Martin Galloway, David Carter, Henry Clayton. The only person who protected the boy from the bullies was his sister. But one day, Clayton closed the boy into one of the rooms of his school and said, No one likes yourself, likes yourself, Jonathan. Kill yourself. And so did the boy. This was the first accident that happened in St. Allison's school. The boy's sister changed school. And although she knew the exact reason of her brother's suicide, she didn't tell anything. She wanted to take her revenge. The beginning. Okay, there's supposed to be one less G and another N. Um, I'm going to try to put it on Game Drill to this creator and how to, if he wants to fix that. It's also still in the uh, beta series, but I'll let him know. Uh, in 2002, the sister Jasmine Collins kidnapped Martin Galloway, one of the bullies, and dragged him into the same room where Clayton closed her brother. The, she closed Martin into the room. There were only two things in the room, a rope hanging from above and a stool. Martin knew what this meant, either suicide or dying slowly in the room because Jasmine won't let him out. Martin Galloway committed suicide. Okay, so Jasmine is the sister. So Jasmine was in there speaking. So he, progression. Police were investigating hardly, but no, but nothing was found. Only some footage of Jasmine entering and leaving the school. 
At this time, Henry Clayton made up the story of a shadowy figure who takes away children in the darkness. The suicides were covered in this way. In 2003, David Carter died the same way as Martin Galloway. The three children were sure that, this, that it was a shadow man, but adults and the police knew that it was another suicide. Headmaster Dallas Grimshaw was forced to shut the school. And now the outcome. In 2015, Henry Clayton, the last bully, reopened the school. He knew that Jasmine will come back for him, and he planned to murder her the first time she entered the school, and he sees her. But again, only footage shows of the woman were found. None has seen her in real life. Strange events started to happen, and Peter Anderson was kidnapped, but later found in a forest. It is not proven that if this was committed by Jasmine. Later, Jasmine kidnapped the son of Henry and killed the same way as the bullies. Henry fell in depression about his son's death and burned the school down. But one thing he didn't know, as he committed suicide by burning the school, Jasmine Collins was in the building planning another murder. She and Clayton burned together. The End this was not the outcome I was expecting in this game. This kind of hit a personal nerve for me. A person dealing with for depression, saying the words, kill yourself, is very powerful. Being bullied the way I was growing up, it was very difficult. When you see someone being bullied, stand up for that person. Don't let them be bullied. A lot of people are saying that bullying is just a part of society, that it shapes people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower the, lowering the game because I wanna kinda wanna have a little note here. It doesn't have to end that way. Yes, I was bullied growing up. I had a very tough childhood. Am I different for it? Sure. Should certain events that happened couldn't have happened? Sure. Some could have been prevented if I would have said something. I was a very quiet kid growing up. I was very bullied because of it. I was fortunate to have, I know it's kind of, so, strange thing but yes I was fortunate to have the bullies that I had I've forgiven all of them if you if you believe me or not I have forgiven every last one of them I understand why they did it I have seen them outside of school I've seen them outside in their own element I've caught them in this I've seen them for the people that they are that does not mean it is a bad thing I have seen them in such a way where I can know in my heart I have let them go. With this anonymous behind the screen bullying that is going on now has to stop. Telling people to kill themselves because you disagree with them or they're slightly different from you in any aspect. It's horrible. It should not be condoned. It, it, it's it's just very hard for me to, to, to think that people think this way, that kids do not, kids, teenagers, whatever age, adults too, you don't realize how strong your words are actually. Yes, I know the old adage, sticks and stones may break your bones, but words can never hurt me. That is true. Words are actions. Speaking is an action. Relentless assault on a person verbally. Day after day. Just wears them down. And it gets to a point where you feel like you have no other way out. 